good afternoon. It is my proud privilege to welcome Srimati Nandisa Garlusha, Honorable Minister of Sports and Youth Welfare, Government of Assam, to this opening ceremony of All India Inter University Baseball Tournament, Men 23-24. We thank not only to opening ceremony, but also to Royal Global University. She has come for the first time to Royal Global University. I'd like to welcome Madam to this Royal Global University also. Then we thank you, Madam, for accepting our invitation to grace the occasion as the chief guest in the opening ceremony, despite your busy schedule. And also like to welcome our Director of Sports, Government of Assam, Pradeep Timungji. Thank you for coming to grace this occasion. And we have Professor Dr. S.P. Singh, the Vice Chancellor of this university, who has been the man behind to organize this baseball tournament, inter-university, all India inter-university baseball tournament. So here we have been organizing this tournament every now and then because of our Professor S.P. Singh, the Vice Chancellor, who is the baseball player, also the sports enthusiast. And we'd like to welcome Mr. Ankur Pansari, the Executive Vice President of this university. Is this time, more than 42 universities are participating in this tournament. Some of them are coming for the first time, and some of them are coming for the second time, and the third time also. So it is precisely about 45 universities have participating in this tournament. Thank you so much. Good afternoon to everyone present here and thank you so much. Uh, uh, I just wanted to, you know, address for five minutes and uh, then when this uh, speakers were not being audible there, still it's not that audible, but it is audible out here because of the rains we have covered it up. So when Pranami was giving my introduction, I was trying that we should modify, but as a sportsman, can I say something to you to begin before I go for the salutations? That isn't it a beautiful weather today? It is one of the best weather I have seen in any of the tournaments being organized here. And God is so very kind on us. And we all are being blessed today by uh, the rain God. And I think uh, the beginning of this uh, tournament is definitely very good and it's going to be great so clap for all of you who have come all the way this is the real assam the weather of assam which has been reflected today and you are just not uh, playing the game but also you are understanding the culture and environment of assam so the dignitaries on the dais uh, uh, madam who is the honorable Edu uh, honorable sports minister of assam shrimati nandita garlosa madam Thank you so much for taking our time and gracing the occasion today. We have with us Shri Pradeep Tamangji, who is the Director of Sports, Government of Assam. Welcome to Royal Global University. My faculty colleagues, Professor Mepon, my sports uh, uh, coordinators and directors here, I think everyone. And most important, there are four people sitting here who are actually running the show. And Charanjit Singh Ji, Gurpreet Singh Ji, and Biswas Kherji and Jun, I think they are the people who have uh, tried their level best the last time also. 
uh, to run the show well. At Royal Global University, I have only few points to make. I think I have uh, reiterated that yesterday in the manager's meet also. First of all, I am really grateful to each and every manager and coach who could bring their team all the way from Kashmir, all the way from Kerala, Maharashtra, almost all the states are being found under this constraints. The Kelo India University Games are going on in uh, Guwahati and Honorable Chief Minister of Assam other day has said and we all believe Honorable Sports Minister Shri Anurag Thakur from Government of India also said that sports is the best way to bring people together culturally to understand each other's culture and make India Ek Bharat, Shrest Bharat and have Anekta Me Ekta as a part of our journey. So all of you who are here from different uh, states, many of you don't know the language of Assam. I also don't know. But then many of you are communicating with each other and many of us are communicating with you without any hurdle. Language is not a bar if at all our heart meets. So if our heart is met, then language is not a bar. And that can always be seen in sports that I personally have learned from sports. And I think sports is the best thing on this earth which can make a complete personality. That is the objective of NEP. In national education policy, mein, we talked about holistic personality. And ma'am, especially I wanted to inform you in Royal Global University from the very beginning, from 2017 when we launched the universities till date, it is that sports is sort of compulsory for every student. They have to either take one sports or any other activity that may be club activity. They have to be either in the music club or in the dance club or in the dramatics club. And we are from the very beginning, even before coming of NEP, we were trying our level best to come to give education which is not limited to the classroom and only book knowledge, but also a holistic education part of it that Royal University is trying. At the same time, I also want to tell everyone that our sports is nowhere hampering the education system of us, uh, uh, our university. Our classes continue till 4.30 p.m. We have floodlights in this area. And the first day when I saw the window of my office called Bang, I, I heard around 7.38 in the evening, there was a big noise and the glass of my window was broken. I inquired, somebody came running to me, if I recall, Sabiran came running to me and said, Sir, shisha toot gaya. The bro I said, how? Sir, football lagi hai. I said, wow, today is a day of blessing for us. At least the students are playing in the ground at 8 p.m. So that is the way the culture of uh, our university is. And you might have seen yesterday also, ki sare bachche khelte hai, shaam ko saat, aat baje tak. Hamare jo Mipun sahab hai, wo roj ja kar ke badminton khelte hai. Badminton mein ek javana tha. There was nobody used to come to play badminton. Aaj wahan pe line lagti hai aur register pe naam kar ke loog khelne jate hai. So that way the culture of this university is changing, has changed a lot. And aap sabka us mein bahut jyada sahiyog hai. The teams which are coming from all other states and different parts of the country. Jab aap aate ho to yahaan ke bachcho ko bhi aur khelne ka man karta hai. They also feel energized, motivated. And our promoter, Shri Ankur Pansari ji is sitting here. He also feels that sports is going to make this university a different university in this part of the country. We want to know, be known as the university with difference and sports will definitely make that. So I thought of talking to you for five minutes. That has been slotted to me. So aap sabko puna dhanyavad aur manch pe aasin jitne log hain, un sabko thank you so very much. Welcome to Assam. Welcome to Royal Global University. God bless you. All the best to you. Thank you so much. Jai Hind. Thank you so much, sir. Sir has been really instrumental in uh, keeping the sports culture going in the university while at the same time, like he said, uh, uh, seeing to it that academics is not hampered. So we really have a balanced atmosphere in the university. Sir, thank you once again. We have the address by our chief guest, Srimati Nandita Garlosa, Minister of Sports and Youth Welfare. Ma'am started her career as a lecturer in Haflong Government College and then went on to become the president of Dima Hasao Youth Forum. Later, she also hold the portfolio of an executive committee member, education in the Dima Hasao Autonomous Council, Maibong. She has also served as an MLA in Haflong constituency. It is noteworthy that she is the first female from Haflong to be elected as an MLA. 
We are very blessed to have you here with us, ma'am, today. May I request you to kindly address. Good afternoon, young athletes. Professor Dr. B.S. Mipun, Dean Students Welfare, RGU. Professor Dr. S.P. Singh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, RGU. Esteemed guest on the dais, and all the young athletes from different states of India representing your own universities. I'm glad to be here with you all today, being the Sports Minister of Assam, taking the responsibility of sports moving forward. And then, uh, baseball, as I have come to know when I got an invitation, I haven't noticed as a baseball. I just saw RGU and then some sports opening ceremony, I just said yes. So was the enthusiasm of the sports. But when I went through, I saw that it's an All India Inter-University Baseball Man Tournament. And then I thought like whether India is also in baseball. Uh, what, what I had noticed in India was uh, mostly cricket was the uh, fanatics or cricket was the craze all over. It's very interior where we stay. Assam itself is very northeastern part of India. And then the craze of uh, cricket comes down to the place where we stay. So that was the craze of cricket and then only I was, I could understand that only cricket was the craze in India. But then it's very nice to see that baseball has come up and then so many universities are taking up into it and then you are hosting this all in the India University Baseball Man Tournament. It's such a good feeling to see. At the same time, when we are having this uh, Kelo India University Games, uh, if you have time or if you can skip it, uh, you may uh, visit the Sarasajai Stadium or the badminton or wherever the plays are held and then you can have uh, time to either cheer the uh, other university counterparts which have come here to play the Hello India University Games or you may just enjoy the other basic of how it is besides this RGU. That will be a proposal from my end. Anyway, once uh, this uh, baseball men tournament that you all are having and I have come to know from here that this is the uh, fifth or sixth edition that you all are having it, may it continue to grow and then I have been told that there are many other facilities of the sports that are being held. Usually, uh, 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 now when, I don't know whether you all are trying to take the career in sports or not, but who a who, uh, person who had already taken a career in, not in sports, but in other activities are really finding themselves saying that we should also have a career in sports. Uh, the reason behind they are saying that uh, 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 time mein parte the, to time guzar gaya. Abhi thora, uh, thora apne zindagi dekhna tha, lekin usme to nahi ho raha hai, kyunki humko kaam karna hai. Jab aur kuch enjoy karna chaate, to humko sharir nahi milega. हमारा शरीर हमका साथ में वो एक लगाव नहीं रहेगा कि हमको खेलने के लिए एंड देन हमारा लाइफ डिसिप्लिन नहीं होगा दैट इज व्हाट अदर पीपल से बट फॉर फॉर देम अ करियर इन स्पोर्ट्स इज व्हाट दे वुड ऑलवेज अर्ज इट एंड देन आई विल आल्सो से दैट इफ यू हैव अ करियर इन स्पोर्ट्स आई थिंक इट्स सपोज टू बी अ वेरी डिसिप्लिनड वन when the vice chancellor was speaking of or somebody was saying over, about him that he had a sports enthusiast and then he was playing so many games i think the discipline life that he is having is just, just because he had the uh, uh, he was also one of the national representative of the baseball and then that career how you come up as you go on with the sports uh, my dear students bearing from the different universities that you are culminating over here with uh, one idea that you will try to win but at the same time winning or losing is not a part of the main idea but having a culmination of so many universities together and be here and then learning about it and then one day i hope from this very team that you all are trying to represent will be a team india which will go for internationally to play i wish that all these young young athletes who had come here uh, really you can uh, shine in their life if you really strike hard and then you may one day represent what we are hoping to see uh, in, in the in, uh, sorry, in the international level. Uh, besides that, uh, just for the people over here in the students of RGS, uh, not for the other places, just an information I just wanted to give you. Having said that, sports to be taken as a career, 
many of the parents are not willing to give their words as a career in sports. As, my, as I believe in the eastern part of India, many, I will say many of them don't encourage their children to be a sports, in, uh, to make a career in the sports. The reason could be so many, but then outside we see there are so many careers in, I'm talking of the context of India only, but in the eastern part of India, we see there is a dearth of sports from the parents itself also. And the main thing that from the eight states that we see is that Manipur is the only state that can compete with the rest of India in terms of other sports. Uh, but uh, nowadays, the trend has become a bit different. First thing that any parent would not like to have a career in the sports for the children is that they must be feeling that if our child is injured, then what will happen? That is, the one, that is the one only question any parent will be having because of their child. Second thing is that they will be having that if my child is very good at playing, will they be able to be selected in the state or will they be, like, be able to be selected in the national? That is, only, that is the second criteria. Again, any parent would like to be having a question mark before forwarding or before willing to send their son. But keeping all those into consideration, the way the sport has come up in India after 2016, with so many uh, interior grassroots level has come up in the terms of Kelo India University, Kelo India, and so on and so forth. Now you might also be seeing that there are many, uh, many champions have come up, many medal winners have come up in the national as well as in the international level. Everybody over here know we are proud of Lovelina, how she has come up. She is one of the star for India. She is one of the star for Assam. She is one of the star from her district, Sarupathar. And then I think many will be able to come up in that way who will be able to have their own niche. Another important thing for uh, Assam is that we have a uh, high performance center uh, which in coordination with Abhinav Bindra that is also one of the very important uh, high performing center where you can get, even if you are being injured, you can be cured over there. At, at the same time, anywhere in India, if you want to have a really, uh, get it, uh, 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 God forbid it doesn't happen, but if it happens to any of the players, it is being well treated in any part of India. So those are some of the few schemes that the government of Assam has taken and at the same time, in other, uh, these uh, high performances have come not only in Guwahati, it is also in Jorhat, and the other one is going to come up in Kokraja. That is the context of what I'm saying in Assam, as well as those students who ever is starting is in RGU. Besides that, uh, let the game start. I don't know whether there will be any op uh, opening match today, but for the rest of the four days, uh, may you all shine in your own respective ways and then may you all shine, go back with, your, with the high spirit of competing in this level. And at the same time, may you all, uh, don't be dejected even if you lose it, but take the spirit, take the winning spirit and go back home. I think the fond memories will be with you all. Uh, best, my best wishes to each and every player that you have traveled so far and then came to SM for this very match. I wish you all the best. Once again, best wishes to you. Thank you so much.
Next we have the performance.
Thank you so much for the beautiful Bagarumba. and colorful Northeast India. With this, we come to an end of the inauguration of the All India Inter-University Baseball Men Tournament 2023-24. Srimati Nandita Carlosa, Sri Pradeep Timung, all the guests and dignitaries, and all the participating universities and the umpires present with us here. Thank you for your esteemed presence and participation. We wish all the participating universities the very best for the upcoming matches. May I request everyone to now kindly rise for the national anthem. <laughs> Ding,
ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ಯಮುನಾ ಗಂಗಾ ಉಚ್ಚಲ ಜಲಧಿ ತರಂಗ ತವ ಶುಭ ನಾಮೆ ಜಾಗೆ ತವ ಶುಭ ಆಶಿಷ ಮಾಗೆ ಗಾಹೆ ತವ ಜಯ Thank you so much everyone we look forward to seeing this spirit over the next 4 days